the Christmas night episode of Rampage. 589,000 viewers on TNT, up 3.2% from the previous week. Show it an hour earlier than usual, and also aired on Saturday. So Smart move, by the way. Yeah, good for them. Maybe they should move it and put it at a random time more often. Well, only so, if there's a holiday. Yeah, this was the show, by the way, that Cody defeated Sammy to win the TNT title for the third time. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw the quarter hours or not, but uh, that Cody whoosh, shows up and those numbers go up. Man, sure people tro- don't want to hear that. Were they trolling people with that show? You got Jungle Boy out there, you know, for everybody. Then you got Hook out there to cause some controversy popping up from that uh, Bear Bronson pile driver. And then Cody, the, the, the infamous Cody. Still a baby face, still with David Crockett handing him the TNT title. He's back with a belt, whether you like it or not. But I think that Cody's character is is that he is a he is a so you know how sometimes it's kind of hard to explain. It's what his daddy and I, I just could be been totally screwed up, by the way. At the so, end. You know how you always have, you know, everyone always says, Well, the best heel is the heel that thinks he's doing the right thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, or at least they have the excuse that they can say. Well, they yes. they think that what they're doing is right, but it's evil. That's why they're heels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cody's slightly different, but very slightly. It's a hard. It, it, he is a he. He is a heel who thinks he's a babyface, which is different from a heel who thinks that what he's doing is right. He thinks he's a babyface. His character. But he's actually a heel that everyone hates. Does that make sense? Yes. I think if you look at it that way, the, the Cody character makes a lot more sense. In wrestling, you know, psychology terms, like, yeah, I mean, he he doesn't see it. He's so wrapped up in himself. I don't, you know, I'm not a big comic book person, but like Booster Gold, you know, that was the, the football player who, you know, it, it, it kind of gives me those types of vibes where it's like, and to me, it's a lot like his father late where it's like recognize the fact that people are booing you and there were times that dusty pushed back against the crowd now cody's not going to do that but in the same way i get you know a lot of those same sorts of feelings where it's like there's there were a lot of people that just went along with the ride for cody that with the young bucks and everybody else and they've tired of them they just they weren't into him that much anyway and they've tired of them there are some people i think that yeah i guess they want to go along with other people and boo him just to boo him but it's just him. It's the presentation. It's how all of these bells and whistles, the big, long, uh, dramatic ring entrance, always giving callbacks to Triple H and golden shovels and destroying the throne and his wife out there, whether, you know, again, which, you know, from day one there and her, you know, being involved in storylines, was she somebody that people really wanted to, to see? And there was pushback against her and just how, and even their own storyline where he just started showing up and red velvet smacked him in the face and you're too hollywood and all this sort of stuff in a way i mean for as much real life angst as this may cause some people from a pro wrestling like psychology layers standpoint even if you hate cody they have a lot of stuff built up here now ultimately I think he should absolutely go heel and do so kind of in the way that he's doing. I'm not big on the I can't do charity as a bad guy. So a lot of that stuff, get the hell out of here. I mean, you're already doing a reality show. You already got a a, a goofy game show. It's like, you know, that sort of stuff. I think that's silly. And I think that's just talk. And if it's true, then I think it shows a lack of confidence that I don't believe that he has, you know, to, to be a heel and to be able to. To do, you know, social gatherings and public events, you know, as a bad guy, but still a representative and executive vice president of your company. I mean, I think those two things can jive. And I don't believe for a second that he worries about it that much. I just think they're looking well, for Well, we don't know right. that. Maybe he does. Because let me maybe tell you something. Does. Look, when, maybe when he does, Stephanie... but I'll say this. That's a very interesting thing for a guy that's got so much confidence to do the things that he does and put himself out there and want to be represented and look at wrestling in the way that he does, because he looks at wrestling as building a bigger business here. So you're telling me a guy with all of this confidence, a guy who's building his family's future, a guy who's looking at different options when it comes to entertainment and all these other things, 
He doesn't think he can pull off being a bad guy and still going to the hospital. No, I don't think he say hello to the sick kid because that's what it really. Comes I don't down think it's that he doesn't think that he can. But I, I do know that every time I see Stephanie doing all the charity work, and then she comes on TV and she's the most despicable, hateable person. It's like this is so weird. Like it's totally bizarre. But I do think this when I compare Dusty and Cody, and that is that, and I, I may be overanalyzing them, and I don't know anything about them. But when I used to watch those old NWA shows, and Dusty would come out and he'd get booed, and uh, it it would come across as if he was he was actually irritated at these fans. He like was. he was he was really irritated that they were booing him. and He was supposed to be the top babyface. Whereas with Cody, I don't think he could possibly care less that he's being booed. No, and you know why? And actually, I do know that for sure because if you watch some of the matches that he does, I mean, he absolutely does spots. Where he, he, there's no way this guy doesn't think he's getting booed. Like when they had Pac in there and Pac's going to square off against whoever and like Pac gets in the ring and he puffs his chest and was like, yeah, Pac's in the ring. And Cody blind tags himself. There's no way that Cody didn't know that he was going to get booed for that spot. So that I think is the big difference in Cody and Dusty. Dusty, I think, was, was legitimately irritated that people would boo him. Whereas I think Cody is like, oh man, this is great. Yeah. And I think Cody learned from that. And I, Cody, there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of Dusty in Cody in a lot of ways that I, it's hard for me to even explain just how, I, just everything about them, how they go about doing their business, ev- everything. And it's just, for what Cody lacks in some ways in the ring, you know, he does make up for with small detail stuff that he does not get credit for. And... That's one of the reasons I can't get sick of them, you know, that, for sure. And I know people, ah, they, they, again, they're getting worked by, I think, what's going on right now. And I don't know what the hole is going to be to punch through. But I, I, at some point, bad guy Cody Rhodes, at least placed firmly on that side of the register, whether he believes it or not, going with against the pages and the punks and the, you know, the people, the Kingstons and the people like that. And it may happen during this reign. We'll see. CM Punk. Versus Garcia, fast moving, neck breaker, leg sub hold on. I got a P. P gets leg. <laughs> 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 this was 10 8 21. Close line. Pil- Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? Get- If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.